A turning of the sort ceremony is likely for sometime June, July 2017 as the Lions Club of Tertola partnerships with the H. Laverty Stout Community College for the construction of a center for the documentation and preservation of Virgin Islands history and heritage in a branded new building. This announcement was made on March 27, 2017. Today, the Lions Club of Tertola is pleased to officially announce its our partnership with the H. Lafferty Stout Community College for the design, construction, opening, and functioning of the Virgin Islands Heritage Resource Center. It would represent our most ambitious public-private joint venture project, but one that could be most rewarding. Rewarding because once completed, once staffed, it promises to properly document, properly preserve, and properly display Virgin Islands history, studies, and heritage. It would be made to serve not only scholars, but residents and visitors alike. Um, we're certainly more than pleased to be a partner with the Lions Club and um, its history of being very, very community-minded as it should uh, in the BVI. And we're extremely pleased that they will take on a project of this magnitude. Certainly, it makes me a little bit nervous, but you know, this this sight and breath of it. But um, we're all very excited about it. Uh, one of the objectives of the Heritage Village is to provide an area for professionally uh, curating and storing many of the artifacts that have been excavated here in the British Virgin Islands. Since the college opened, there have been a variety of archaeological excavations operated by various universities around the world, and all of the material that they have excavated has always been deposited with the college. For example, we have one set of a collection from a house on Joost van Dijk, which has 85,000 artifacts, uh, and we have many collections like that. Um, ultimately, one of the objectives uh, with the Virgin Islands Heritage, uh, Heritage Resource Centre would be to display these artifacts and so certainly school children, uh, interested parties can come and look at some of this stuff, which up until now, unfortunately, has just remained in boxes in the basement of the library. Phase one, which would include the consultation room and the classroom, I think it was mentioned that the classroom could sometimes be used as workshops or for things such as community lectures and the Virgin Islands, the, 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 the certificate course that we've been uh, exploring, the Virgin Islands Studies Certificate for Teachers, in different units. Um, there are many teachers that just don't have the content area even though they've come to the island to teach and those courses could be held in the classroom. In the consultation room we have been asked a lot um, to work with businesses that may or may have uh, heritage sites in one form or another on their properties and they need to develop those persons always want to come in and conduct genealogical research as was mentioned before it just happened a while ago with the rhymers who came with the oral history project we would finally have a centralized location for this which is so in a way urgent right and right now making this project a reality however hinges on the two bodies ability to garner financial and other support the lions club will kickstart the fundraising drive come april 28 2017. the cost of not completing this project however is immeasurable lions will again be calling on our sponsoring partners our corporate partners and individuals calling on noted resident and visiting philanthropists and calling on everyone interested in the documentation and preservation of Virgin Islands history and heritage. This fundraising effort will commence with the hosting of the Lions 45th Anniversary Gala Dinner and Fundraiser. It will be held at the Morin's Mariner Restaurant on Friday, April 28th. Tribute will be given to the club's five, first five presidents Terence Erskine, John Wong, Sidney Bradford, Edgar Hewlett, and Sam George. It is with excitement and a sense of gratitude also that we announce that the keynote address will be delivered by the president of Howard University, Dr. Wayne Frederick, who hails from the Twin Islands of Trinidad and Tobago. The cost for this project is estimated in the vicinity of $1.2 million and will be executed in three phases.